Okay, all set to go. So stepping in for Boston, Jaron Duran, trying to pick up his first Durant. knock in the big leagues. And yeah, that's outside. And yeah, this one is off and running. Breaking ball in there for a strike. I got one ball, one strike. Ripped to short. And a He's quick out. out number one. As we check out the lineup for the Boston Red Sox. One guy leading the way offensively for this club right now, Tyler O'Neill. And Boog, he leads the team in on-base percentage and runs scored. I mean, those two things are pretty much connected because obviously you can't score without getting on base. This is a guy who really acts as a catalyst for this lineup. And here is Romy Gonzalez. That's out. Just off the outside edge, and it's 1-0. Just nope, missed. Nice. One out, base is empty. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. Hey. Right through there for a strike. Whoa. This to third, Camonero. Jump throw. Two up, two down. That is good. The third base. Two outs, base is empty. Devers now. Looking for his first big league hit right here. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. DeLuca going back. Just side the wall. We head to the bottom of the first. No score after a half inning. Back here at Tropicana Field, showing the slab in today's game, Cutter Crawford. And singing a special day for him. He's making his major league debut here. And I'm sure he's got some nerves. He'll be excited for that first pitch to be in and over with so that he can settle in to pitching just like he did in the minor leagues. Exciting moment. He's got his family in town. I think this moment's going to be a huge tone setter for his career. Yandy Diaz leading things off and takes a strike. of the pitch tries to hold up appeal to first ring him up says Clyde Washington that's a strikeout and that's that the that first that strikeout of his major game. league career and it could be the first of many if he meets the goals he set for himself and the expectations others have for him he doesn't want to just win games he wants to dominate at this level do you think young pitchers can sometimes get too caught up in trying to rack up K's early in their career? Boog, I think they can. It's kind of like a hitter that doesn't have power. The thrill hey. is still hitting a ball over the fence. And so for oh, a guy, no. even if he doesn't have power stuff or strikeout stuff, a strikeout is still something that makes him stick his chest out a little bit further. Next pitch is downstairs. And nope. another ball. Would chase three. that time. 
First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3 1 count. Next offering in there for a strike. Bounce ball three and two. Got him. And there's two down. Well, he throws him with a great fastball right on the corner. That it's kind of like pulling when you think the ball is going to get into the gutter and somehow yeah, just yeah. hangs onto that edge and knocks down a yeah. pin. Well, he got the outside corner of the plate and got that called third strike. Here is the rookie third baseman, Junior Caminero. This one in the air. Gonzalez under it. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. Nothing in the Tampa first. On to the second now for Tropicana. Still nothing, nothing. And we're back. Leading Here's Tyler O'Neill. The right field. O'Neill goes five feet, 11 inches, batting in the cleanup spot. And he was a third round pick back in 2013. And a foul ball. Here comes the 1. Right through there for a strike. Ed Drummond, our umpire behind the plate in this one. Yeah, but he's a really fair umpire, both the pitchers and the hitters. So standard strike zone, he's consistent with it. And the great thing is you don't see players question the calls too much. So that's a good thing in this day and age. Foul ball still 0-2. And One ball, there's a ball. Two strikes. And another ball. Kick San Diego's. Fights it off. He'll see another. Comes a 2 2. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. The wind of the pitch. Stays alive. That's Three down balls. and in. Right. Three. And a swing and a miss. He battled for a long time, but it finishes with a strikeout. You can't be mad at yourself after an at-bat like that one. And stepping in for Boston, Connor Wong. That one's upstairs, ball one. Ball one. Ball one, no strike. Second inning here, no score. Swing and a miss. Ugly swing right there. The high fastball, particularly for young hitters, can be hard to lay off of because you see it so well at eye level, but it's really hard to catch up and get that top hand to work on time. Right-hander kicks deals. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Next offering misses, and it's two and two. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Two outs, base is empty. Masataka Yoshida up next for the Red Sox. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Around first, heading for two. Throws to second. Not going to get him. He's in there. Masataka Yoshida with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, 
can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. So two down, Trevor Story getting ready to hit. Check swing, no appeal. Well, they're looking to get on the board first here after that clutch two-out double made this inning interesting. Yoshida on its second with two down. The shortstop takes the ball. And a foul ball. Makes the count two and one. Late that time, it's strike two. Two ball, two strike. Right side, loud. That ends the frame. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one left. We go to the bottom of inning number two. No score. We head to the bottom Leading of the second. The now up for Tampa Bay, the Jonathan Aranda. Jonathan. Crawford, Aranda. back to work. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. And he deals. Nope. Just misses with that one. It's a good take. Popped up. Story in position. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. Batting good. good. No left field. This is Dylan Carlson. A little bit high, maybe. Ball one. And that catches the low inside corner. Good fastball. Here comes a pitch. And a foul ball. Swing and a miss struck him out. Off to a strong start, Singy, as he's punched out three of the first five he's faced. Well, he's definitely minimizing contact. He can get the swing and miss when he needs it, but he'll also keep the defense fresh behind him, allowing some balls in play as well. And now here's the speed threat. Outfielder Josh Lowe. Clobber to right field. Way back. Gone. good his first homer of the year it's one nothing he wasted no time in that at bat swinging at the first pitch and he punished it it's so impressive you have to have such a clear and direct path to the baseball on a split finger at that location inside part of the play did a tremendous job staying inside of it and keeping that ball fair. Jose Caballero next to hit for the Rays. Just nope, missed. Down. Two out, space is empty. Next offering upstairs. Crawford 
maybe a little less aggressive on the mound right now after that home run, Chris. Yeah, it seems that way. You know, guys, they can come out, feel good, but then all of a sudden get touched up a little bit, nope. and they start trying to throw instead of pitch. They're not trusting their stuff. Two outs. Top of the zone for a called strike. Well, he's been good for the most part. Is it going to take someone going out to the mound to maybe refocus him a bit? No, partner, every pitcher's a little different. I, I liken it to you. Sometimes you come in and you're not as focused, and I kind of do what it takes to get you on track, and then you have a great show. Uh, so perhaps it's the same with him. Nobody really wants their rhythm broken up, but sometimes they need a little pick-me-up. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. And first offering is fouled off. Left hand batter waits. Hey. to first no, he's and he's back in easily one run across in the frame so far bottom half of inning number two and yeah, that's yep, outside that gonna count one and two hey. struck him out swinging couldn't catch up to the heater but they're off to a good start as they pick up a run on this solo shot. It's an early 1-0 lead. Major League Baseball is on the show. Back now in Tampa Bay. All set for the start of the inning. Danny Jansen ahead here. Danny. Jensen. Yeah, the right hater back to work. Fouled off. He was late. Next one. offering is down low. And the count is one, one and oh. one. Just missed. Yeah, the right hander deals. Fouls one off. Two and two. Righty delivers. Next offering is outside. Digging in, Sidin Rafaela. Rafaela. Right through there for a strike. And a pitch. And that one just missed off the outside edge. The Red Sox down by a run. We're here in the top half of inning number three. It's in there. And that just misses. Really good take, especially with two strikes. That one out to right. Low, ranging after it. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Out. Number two. Now batting Jaron Duran. And there's one thing on his mind this at bat get that first hit at the big league level. And that's off ball one. the inside edge. And that's ball one. Fall off foul. A 
on the ground right side. The flip to the pitcher cover, and that is the inning. Red Sox go down quietly, still behind by a count of one to nothing. And welcome back and to the ballpark. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder Johnny DeLuca. The pitch. In the air, left field, Yoshida under it. Makes the grab one away. Now back, the designated hitter, Yandy. So the batting order Diaz. turns over. Yandy Diaz now. And that's in there at the knees. Right through there for a strike. All right, now, he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. Two away. No batter. No batter. Lyle at the plate. Second Struck base out base. looking at his Run first at bat. That's a strike across the top of the zone. No the Nowadays with advanced metrics and increased use of moving the infielders around, defense isn't necessarily about making errors. Are you able to get to the ball? Are you able to position fielders where guys hit the ball, but within the new shift hey. rules? In there at the knees, and the count is 0-2. And in an area that goes unnoticed is the coach that's responsible for positioning, and then uh, the research person that's providing the information. So what we're seeing in baseball, so many more people behind the scenes that are contributing to the success between the lines. Good yep. eye right there. Back when you played, it wasn't the empirical data we have now. It was a guy with a ruler and a diamond taking a colored pencil and drawing a line where he thought someone had hit the ball, right? <laughs> that or just going off of gut or feel. What does it look like his swing is today? What's the pitcher throwing? They are sticking to the metrics and what seems to be most consistent for that hitter, regardless of who the pitcher is on the mound. Goes down looking. Down in order, go the Rays. But they still lead it 1 0. Back here at Tropicana Field, out of the fourth, and stepping in is the speedy Romy Gonzalez. The right hander back to work. Ball one, no strikes. You know, these Red Sox, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases that are turning into a bunch of outs, can they turn that around and stay within the zone? We'll see, but I think they have to. And here it comes. Out to short. And he's safe at first. Romy Gonzalez with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, dude. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here man aboard and here is Devers 0 for 1 with a fly out to center Bradley checks over to first and he's back base runner with a one-way lead right there all he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move had no intent of stealing on that pitch first offering and it just misses Gonzalez on at first nobody out Outside low, and it's 2-0. Oh. No Chris, time. with that distraction and the speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. 
Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot. And that chance handled. Yeah, quick feed to second for one. Yeah. Out of the first double play. Sometimes double plays get turned so quickly that you don't really get to appreciate all of the finer details and how these guys execute it. Right there, really nice footwork, and a good feed to second was the key to pulling it off. Now, here is Tyler O'Neill. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. He flexes his power with that swing and it ties it up. It's 1 1. Love to see a hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an at bat. You watch him from the on deck circle, so when you step in the box, you're ready to pull the trigger wherever it's at. Really good job by the hitter. Total conviction on that swing. Base is empty with two away. Connor Wong up next for the Red Sox. And a good eye there. Two down, base is empty, but one run across. Top half of inning number four. Next offering is downstairs. Bradley. Maybe a little less aggressive on the mound right now after that home run, Chris. Yeah, it seems that way. You know, pitchers, they can come out, feel good, but then all of a sudden get pushed up a little bit, and they start trying to throw instead of pitch. They're not trusting their stuff. Next offering is in for a strike. And that gets the inside corner for a strike. We'll see another payoff pitch. And it stays fair. Makes the turn and heads for second. The throw in. And he'll pull into second safely. Connor Wong with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. Go ahead, run on base. Now the left fielder, Masataka Yoshida. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. He usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. And the righty deals. That one ripped right center field. The one hops off the wall. Should be extra bases. The run comes in to score from second. It's 2-1. Mission accomplished there as he picks up the RBI to give him the lead. Nice line drive to the pull side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. Here's Trevor Story. He's over one. Right through there for a strike. Two outs and one in scoring position. That's ripped. Base hit. Around third. He scores and they take a two run lead. So he gets two milestones with that hit. His first big league knock and he drives in his first run as well. Yeah, you love to get both of those out of the way with just one swing of the bat, and it makes the special moment even more special. It's not just an individual accomplishment when you're also driving in a run for your team. 
That's an at-bat he's never going to forget. Now it's Jansen to hit. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Foul ball. And the pitch. Runner on the go. There's a the ball. And that's a stolen base. Not even close. Well, with that kind of elite arm he has behind the plate, man, it's a pretty big deal when you can swipe a bag against this dude. Maybe more than anything, it prevents teams from just testing him, thinking that they can even steal the base. But right here, they successfully moved that runner up to scoring position. Good job. So, a foul ball makes it one and two. Another ball. In the air, right field. Low has it sized up. Brings it in for the third out. Three runs for him here, and they move ahead to the bottom of inning number four now. It's the Red Sox three, the Rays one. And stepping in for the Rays, Junior Caminero. Junior Caminero. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Just off the outside edge, and that's ball one. Well, the offense has gotten going, and a pitcher wants to go out there, have a real quick inning, get those guys back into the dugout so those bats can stay hot. Liner, base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Junior Caminero with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Jonathan Aranda. And that is in for a strike. And it's 0 and 1. Left hand hitter waits. That's off the mark. And one and one. Oh, he's really working him away, this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. Kicks and fires. On the ground, could be two. Steps on the bank for Out one. Over to first, Thanks, save. He's in. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Dylan Carlson. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. And that one is inside. There's the swing and a miss. One and one. Right into the play. Swing it a foul straight back. And a pitch. Fights that one away. Still one and two. The pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. At the belt and fires. Knocks that one away and we'll do it again. And another ball. 
Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Two two now. Look out! Perfect. And it hit him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. Josh Lowe will hit next. He's already homered in this game. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Two on, one out. Ground ball right side could be two. It's in and out of his glove. Over to second for one. Well, that was clearly a double play ball, but the bobble unfortunately prevented him from being able to get two. But a good job to stay with it and make sure you got at least one. No matter, no matter will be the shortstop. Jose Caballero worked a walk in his first trip to the plate. Oh, he doesn't get the call. And it's one to know. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Rafaela has this one sized up. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And that is the inning. No runs. A hit. Two left. On to the top of the fifth we go. It's the Red Sox three. The Rays one. And we're back. Lead top on, five. On, on, on. John Shabby with Chris Instead Singleton. And leading it off. Sidane Rafaela. Bradley back to work. That oh, one misses. Yeah. And that is ball one. Rafaela in his rookie season, 23 years old. And he's a native of Curacao. In the air to left center. DeLuca in and to his right. Hauls it in and there's one away. Now that designated hitter. Now it's Jerry the DH. Jaron Duran. Good eye in that spot. That one down the line and foul ball. Base is empty one away and we're at the top of the fifth. And another ball. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. One down, base is empty. Down the left field line, could be extra bases. And that's going to kick into the corner. Around first and hustling for second. And his first big league hit is a double. Jaron Duran with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. And it's second with one away. Now it's the second baseman, Romy Gonzalez. One for two. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Oh, one. Kicks and deals. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Tampa Bay's bullpen with some action. Ryan Pepio preparing to come on if needed. Alexander getting loose as well. Man at second. All one. That one missed. 
Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Typically, that high fastball, if it's close to the top of the strike zone, a hitter, if he's prepared for it, can get to it. But that one just had that little jump at the end, which indicates there's a good spin rate on it, and it didn't decrease in velocity as that hitter's internal clock would expect it to, and that's why you see the swing and miss. Devers at the plate and takes high there. pitch so two oh, balls cool. and no strikes no oh, no need to go right at this guy first base is open he can hurt you so make him expand his zone if he doesn't give him a walk man on second two down hey. that one fouled off Right-hander kicks deals. Next offering misses down and away. Tyler O'Neill would be next if they can extend the inning. And he's homered already, so I'm sure he'd love a chance to do some more damage here. And he deals. To the right side. Dives, and he can't hang on. See? Fantastic effort, but that extends the inning. Rafael Devers with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Bull. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. First and third, two away. Here's the Boston cleanup hitter, Tyler O'Neill. Swing and a miss. 0-1. Oh, one. Oh, one's the count. Two on, two outs. Aye. Right through there for a strike. Oh, two with the count. Next offering upstairs. One ball. Well, the good thing so Two far strikes. is that he hasn't issued any free passes. Unfortunately, they're making pretty good contact. So not getting the swings and misses and making that defense work behind him. And in looking, that's a strikeout. A couple of hits in the inning, but they can't get him home. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the Red Sox three, the Rays one. Now in Tampa Bay, ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now the catcher comes up to him. Ben Workman. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. And that one fouled off. When you got a catcher like this guy with a big arm like that behind the plate, it really shuts down the running game. And a swing and a miss. When you have a catcher that can throw like that, a pitcher doesn't have to worry as much about the slide step. He can keep his mechanics intact and have a better opportunity of getting that hitter out with a swing and miss. He goes down looking. Wow, that's a tough call for the hitter, but the pitcher will take that all day long. Not quite in the strike zone, but he found a spot that the umpire is going to at least for now, allow him to get that call. So hitters are going to have to make an adjustment, but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can. Next to hit, Johnny DeLuca. That one ripped left field, and it one hops the wall. Now he'll turn for second, and that's a double. Johnny DeLuca with his first major league hit, and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. 
Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. And now the DH, Yandy Diaz. Who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. That one backed up the middle and it gets through. Coming home. Here's the throw. He'll score. They trail by one. It's 3-2. So he gets two milestones with that hit. His first big league knock. And he drives in his first run as well. Yeah, you love to get both of those out of the way with just one swing of the bat, and it makes the special moment even more special. It's not just an individual accomplishment when you're also driving in a run for your team. That's an at-bat he's never going to forget. And now it's Brandon Lau. Bounding ball here, rolls foul. The pitch. That's a strike. Pitch misses there. Now one and two. That's a really good job of laying off the 0-2 high fastball. Is going to make that pitcher really have to respect this hitter, even Whoa, though right he's there. behind in the count. And the right-hander deals. Three. Struck him out looking. Well, he's going to have some thinking to do when he leaves the ballpark after this one. That was his third yeah. strikeout. And this one, he won't keep, obviously. So yeah. he's been a little overmatched. He's got to find a way just to be more competitive up there at the plate. Junior Caminero next to hit for the Rays. Ripped on the ground a second. They take the force out. And that is the inning. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. And the home team down a run. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. We're back, and they make a change to start the sixth. The new pitcher, Ryan Pepio. Now, yeah, this is the best way to make your Major League debut. No one on base. Yeah, you're already going to be a little nervous out there, so I think it's a nice job by the skipper to get him in here without any added pressure with traffic on the bases. So stepping in for Boston, Connor Wong. The wind and the pitch. Very high with that one. Ball one. Bullpen movement for the Rays. Garrett Clevenger, the left-handed reliever, appears to be getting loose. That's and there's ball. a ball. Here's a two-one. And there's a foul ball. The 2-2 two -two now. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. The wide to kick the pitch. Here's a swing and a drive. Left field. And he knew it. That's one way to quiet the crowd. His first homer of the year, and they add to their lead. It's 4-2. Del Boog, clearly some frustration out there on the mound right now. I mean, that ball was so close to going foul. Would have been a long strike, but instead... Batter gets rewarded. Did a nice job of getting to the pitch and hitting it hard enough to get over the fence.
And next for the Red Sox, Masataka Yoshida. And first offering is fouled off. Thinking about Yoshida, he's never going to be the biggest player when he's on the field, but that doesn't mean he can't hit. He gets on base and doesn't strike out very often. That combo makes you a valuable asset to your club. Gets him to chase after that one. Red Sox oh, by two, and we're the top half of the sixth. And they'll do it again. The pitch. Ball That's one the there. Well, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at bat. I'm sure there's some times where a pitcher would rather just give up a first pitch single than have to waste six or seven pitches on one hitter. And here it comes. Fouls that off to the left and will do it again. Good battle here, about to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. Right side. Low has it sized up. Drops into the glove. And there's one down. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. Trevor Story comes up to the plate. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond. And this guy is at the top of the list. And first offering is fouled off. And you played behind guys, and they love having your speed out there defensively. One of the things that we talk about is how much pitchers enjoy having those elite defenders behind them. Right-handed reliever. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That's the second out. Just couldn't catch up on the low 90s fastball right there. And that's a result of a good job of changing speeds. Off-speed pitch on the one before, then sped him up. Pitchers that don't throw real hard have to rely on location and mixing up the speeds. That wasn't the best location with the fastball. But clearly, that wasn't the pitch he was looking for at the plate either. Up the middle. Loves it on the dive. From his backside. On the money. Nice play. This guy's anticipation is off the charts don't see many shortstops better than that great job to complete the play and end the inning there we go bottom six down here's the Tampa Bay cleanup hitter Jonathan Aranda here comes a pitch There's a strike. Boom. Over 80% of his first pitches are strikes. You're doing that. You could have a really good day out there on the mound. Slap the other way. Foul. The 0-2. Oh, he gloves it. The throw, and very nicely done for the out. The left field, number 10, Dylan Carlson. Now up for Tampa Bay, Dylan Carlson. He's 0 for 1. Hit hard, should be extra bases. Now he turns and heads for second. The throw in. And that's a two-bagger. Dylan Carlson with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but... It's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here.
one out runner at second and the batter now Josh Lowe he's already homered here in this one and that one fouled off. Left-hand batter waits. Swing and a miss. No ball, two strikes. And that's ball, in the dirt. Two strikes. With the tying run at the plate here in the bottom of the sixth. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Righty delivers. Fouls it off. Still one and two. Damn. Now two out. Well, when you commit to throwing an inside fastball to your glove side across the strike zone, especially with two strikes, if you're going to miss, you want to miss off the plate in. You do not want to leave it out over the heart of the plate. So that was excellent execution on that pitch. Really tied him up, and he couldn't get a piece at all. Now it's the shortstop, Jose Caballero. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Runner at second, two down. And fouled off. Next oh, pitch is outside. That one missed. Ben Woodpeck getting on deck circle. And a 3-1 on the way. The right hander gives up the two-out walk. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play. The game plan that he's sticking to is just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. Ben Woodpeck next to hit for the Rays. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, but not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an at bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. Just nope, missed. Pitch nope. misses. Two balls, no strikes. Struggled a little bit in this one. Couple of strikeouts earlier, but doing a much better job in this at bat to get ahead and find a good hitter's count at 2-0. Oh. The 2-0 oh is in for a strike. Two outs. Couple of base runners at first and second. Swings through that one for strike two. And that skips into the Johnny DeLuca waiting for a turn at the plate. The other way. Could be extra bases. Headed for the plate. One runs in. Here comes the throw. But he's in there easily. Ben Wolfett with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, dude. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you worked to get here. Stepping in for the Rays, Johnny DeLuca. Hey. Swing and a miss. Strike one. one.
tied at four. Inside, ball one. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Chris Martin up and throwing. Pavetta getting cranked up as well. Two outs on the ground to third. Devers throws oh. on to first. They limit the damage here, but they'll pick up a couple runs here, both coming on this two-run double. All even now at four apiece. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. And welcome back to the ballpark. Top of inning number seven. And stepping in for Boston, Sidane Rafaela. And the pitch. On the ground to third. Fires across the diamond. That's the first out, the top of the seventh. Up next to the Red Sox. The designated hitter. So the Red Sox lineup turns over. And next is the designated hitter, Jaron Duran. First pitch doesn't find the zone. This one chopped up the middle. Tosses to first. And that quickly, two away. Now that second base. Romy Gonzalez up next for the Red Sox. And a swing and a miss there. Oh, All tied up here in the top half of inning number seven. Oh, and two now as he swings through it. It might be time to choke up a little bit, get that front foot down early, maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. Back up the middle and a base hit. Just kind of slice that one into center. Just a very nice approach and swing right there to use the big part of the field. Everything was on time. He stayed balanced through the entire swing and just launched that one into center. And now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. And here is Devers. And the first pitch misses for ball one. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. Move to first. Back standing. He's in there safely. Wouldn't Ball chase two. that time. Two and out. And that one wrapped foul. Tied at four. Nope. Outside. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. The 3 1. Ah. Swing and a miss. Great RBI spot here. Ooh. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score. And that one is lifted in the air. Low has it sized up. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. And the Red Sox lead one. This game's all tied at four. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Chris Martin. On for his major league debut, and a moment he will never forget. Better believe that. It's always so special the first time. You get into a big league ball game. I did it as a position player, but for him, as a pitcher, I'm sure there's some nerves there. Probably don't want to squeeze the baseball too tight. Just relax and do what you're capable of doing. And a pitch. Diaz in the box here. Let's that one go for a ball. Next offering upstairs. Do it out. And ball another three. ball. I got three and oh. That's in for a strike. And a pitch. 
And there's a strike. Good heater at 98. And boy, that was the pitch. 3-1. You want to be really aggressive on the fastball. Swing and a miss. And he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. He's locked in at the plate, but he's using the ball field. He was out in front there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Brandon Lau, 0 for 3 with three strikeouts. First pitch misses. Just missed. Catches the zone for a strike. Two and one now. Ball he delivers outside. Ball. Swing and a pop off in foul ground. Devers sizes this one up. He's got it. And there's two down. Now batter. The third baseman. Junior. And now it's going to be Junior Caminero. One for three. First All pitch one. doesn't find the zone. Ball one, no strike. Two down, nobody on. Here the bottom of the seventh. There's a strike. Just a really nice slider down and in there. He wants to get the hitter thinking fastball. Speed him up and just subtract some velocity and add a little movement. Right into the plate. Just misses with that one. Two down. Now pop up on the infield. Wong under it. Makes the catch inning over. Rays go in order. One, two, three. Score remains tied at four. Welcome back and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Manuel Rodriguez on for his major league debut. So we'll see if he's ready for the big stage. He just has to remember this is the same game that he's played all the way through the minor leagues to this point. The only difference, there are just more people in the stands and it's a bigger stadium. But the game itself is still the same. Look at the catcher. Whatever fingers he puts down, that's what you throw. And just let him lead you in this one. And a pitch. O'Neal nope. up to bat ball next. One. Lays off for a ball. But a mistake right here could untie this ball game. If you're the pitcher out there, you just want to be a little more cautious. Tied at four. Fought off foul. <laughs> next <laughs> offer in there for a strike. It's a ball with two strikes. Two strikes. And that's outside. The pitch. On a line. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One away. Great swing of the bat right there. Trying to get on is that go-ahead run. He just wasn't able to find a hole. And now the first baseman, Connor Wong. First pitch just misses. Tampa Bay's bullpen with some action. Garrett Clevenger warming up for manager Kevin Cash. Alexander warming up as well. Bases empty one away, and we're at the top of the eighth. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. Oh, 
Swings through that. Really going after him here. All fastballs to get ahead in the count. And that one is in the dirt. And the count is even two and two. Gets a piece and stays alive. One down, base is empty. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. And the righty deals. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. That one just misses. Still just the second batter of the inning, and on the mound, he's already thrown 13 pitches. They've got him working hard out there. Payoff pitch. Line drive, that's a base hit. So he ends up with a hit after seeing a lot of pitches. That was a good at bat. Nice at bat right there. Not just the result, but also seeing a lot of pitches. Made him really work out there on the mound. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy. Didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep. Took the barrel right to it and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. One down. Runner at first. Runner on the goal. Pitch is low. Throw to second. Tag. And they got it. Well, sometimes a throw that bounces into second base can be just as good as a perfect throw in the air. Almost a little bit easier to handle at second base. For me, that caught stealing right there was all about a really poor jump off first. Just didn't time it well. And he was toast after that. And another ball. Really been able to slow down the game tonight with his at bats and the biggest one he's had so far. He doesn't look anxious at all. In the dirt, three and zero. Oh. At the belt and fires. That's in there, and now three and one. Kicks and deals. Now fly ball to right center. Makes the catch. And that is that. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. Home half of inning number eight straight ahead. And we are tied 4-4. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Nick Pavetta. And he comes on here for the first time this season, and I'm sure there's some nerves involved in that, so we'll see how he settles in. So now it's the full goal hitter, Jonathan Aranda. The first big Pavetta, a 6'5 righty, 210 pounds, and he was drafted in the fourth round back in 2013. That's outside, and that's ball one. He was late there, strike one. Threw that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. Lays out. Oh, it's off his glove. That leaves him without a throw, and they catch a break as they get a base runner at first. Now Jonathan Aranda with his first major league hit, and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, boo. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you work to get here. Here's the left fielder, Dylan Carlson. <laughs> Fouled off. He was late. The go-ahead run aboard at first. Nobody out. Oh. Pitch misses, and it's one and one. Activity in the bullpen. Greg Weiser appears to be getting loose. Oh. 
That's out to center field. He's got it. The right field, number 15. Josh Lowe next to hit for the Rays. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. The pitch. Way out front for strike two. The two strikes may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Headed towards the corner. Reaching for it and brings it in. Gotta love the over-the-shoulder catch. I tell you what, those are really fun to make. The batter number seven. Shortstop. Jose. Jose Caballero next to hit for the Rays. And that one fouled off. Two outs. Ball in. Right through there for a strike. Got him swinging. It's a strikeout. And him out front for strike three. The Rays strand just the one. Still all square at four apiece. Welcome back as we have a pinch hitter to lead it off. Willier Abreu. He represents the go-ahead run. And the right hitter back to work. Late on that fastball. On one. Four four in the ninth. And that one fouled off. The pitch. Chase a swing. Now it appealed to third. No, he held up. Tied at four. Just missed. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Got it. And a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. Now the catcher up to hit. Danny Jansen. 0 for 3. A fly out, a ground out, and a strikeout. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Ball one, no strike. And that's downstairs and outside. Two balls, no play. That one is absolutely belted. And in one hops the wall. Around first, digging for two. Relay throw. Not going to get him. He's in there. Danny Jansen with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it kind of be overwhelming, dude. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. One out. Runner at second. Now it's going to be Sedane Rafaela. Ground ball right side. Off balance he's throw out. in time. And he's out. Not a bad outcome in that spot. The runner moves the up to out. third, and now they the have a chance to drive in the go ahead Gary run. Ray. It's not a the left hander Ray. on now, now Garrett Gary Clevenger. Ray. Bringing in the lefty Number with the left handed Ray. hitter coming up Gary. to hit. Classic bullpen move Gary. right here, so we'll see how it works out. Gary. 
So the lineup flips over. Jaron Duran up next for the Red Sox. Popped up, foul territory behind the blow. And that's the third out. No runs, one hit, no errors, and a man left. 8 9 1 due up in the bottom of inning number nine. And we are tied 4 4. So coming into the game now on defense, number 75. He's in at shortstop. And now the catcher for the Rays, Ben Workvet. You know, he came out clutch earlier in this ball game and really just needs to take the same approach. Think hard right back up the middle. The wind of the pitch. Just Whoa, missed. The Red Sox with some bullpen action. Greg Weiser, the young right-hander, up and throwing. The pitch. Whoa, and another right ball. Wouldn't oh, chase that time. Johnny DeLuca next to bat for Tampa. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. Hey. And fouled off. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. And a swing and a miss. One out. Now, now Johnny DeLuca digs in now. DeLuca. Right through there for a strike. And I know you want to be patient as a hitter, but you got to be ready to jump on the first thing straight. And he got one right there, but left the bat on his shoulder. On the inside corner for a strike. And this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. And one that's ball, in the dirt. Two strikes. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. He swung over top of the curveball. Well, you rarely ever see three no curveballs no in a row two. because Just that's one of those pitches hitter. that's most effective Young when you baby. haven't seen it recently. You yeah. might see three sliders in a row, but right there, he was feeling that curveball and figured he could finish with that pitch. So the Rays batting order turns over. Yandy Diaz, the next to hit. Foul ball there. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Under it. And the inning is over. And we're back. We're in extras here. And stepping in for Boston, Romy Gonzalez. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike one. All ones the count. That's it now. And the count is only oh, two. Well, if he's going to do something special right here, it's going to have to happen with two strikes. Outside low. Now one and two. One ball, two they tried to get him to go. Chase the pitch down and away, but he wouldn't bite. Man at second. Here's a rocket out to left. Squeezes it. Runner tags it second, and he makes it up to third with one away. Rafael Devers up to him. 
the third go ahead run is 90 uh -oh. feet away this at bat could end up deciding the game when everything is said and done yeah. that breaking ball drops in for a strike oh, definitely a strikeout situation right here lots of ways for that go ahead run to score if the ball's put in play Duran stands at third with one gone in the inning One ball, one now break. a pitch out, and perhaps they were protecting against the squeeze. Tied at four. Just oh, off the inside edge. Oh, Missing right. inside, and now three and one. Good pitchers make pitches in big situations. And right here with the middle of the order hitter up, runner in scoring position, he's got to find a way to throw a quality strike. And he walked him. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. Now right Two on, one out. Tyler O'Neill up next for the Red Sox. So the big right-handed hitter at the plate. Lots of power. He is dangerous. Swing and a miss. It's 0-1. Runners at the corners. One away. Here are the top half of the 10. Outside low. And now it's even one and one. Swings over the top of that one. Big pitch right here. Okay. He's going to try to make a pitch. It's going to produce a strikeout or a ground ball double play. Lefty out of the stretch. Runners at first and third. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Three. Got him swinging. Walk up next for the Red Sox. And it may be a long shot, but a triple here will give him the cycle. Base hit center field. In comes the run from third. And it's now 5-4. And his hot hitting continues. They kept him in the yard that time, but all he's doing now is passing the baton, and everything seems to get started around this guy. Now the left fielder, Masataka Yoshida. And that misses off the outside edge. First and second, two down. Ground ball right side. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. So one run in the inning on this base hit. It's now a 5-4 ball game. We're back, and on the mound is the closer, Henley Jansen. A chance at his first now, save now, of the year. Right. Well, one run game. And the batter now, Brandon Lau. In a spot right. like this, the are you up there right. thinking to yourself, I'm oh, trying to end the game? Absolutely. It's been a long one. You're hungry. Well, you're ready to go home. And a pitch. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. Oh, well, comfortable or not, these are the situations closers, they seem to live for. I mean, you get into some hot water, a jam, tough spot, whatever you want to call it, but this is where they earn their keep. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. Getting a little more frustrated with the strike zone. So the tying run at second. One ball. And it skips into there. Right. 
Here's a one two. Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. And he deals. Bounce straight back. And that squared him up in the mask. That didn't feel good. Kicks and fires. Misses. Oh. And it's two and two. Well, as a pitcher, when you make a big pitch down around the knees and don't get the call, it'll lead at you out there. So some handle it a little bit better than others. And right here, clearly letting the ump hear it a little bit. Swung on, belted. That one's carrying. Great effort on the leaping grab. Runner tags it second. Wow, that was clutch. Huge situation and an incredibly tough play. I thought it was going to drop for sure, but he makes what might be the play of the game. That was absolutely amazing. And now, Junior Caminero. Hey. Right through there for a strike. Trying to close out a one-run lead. Yeah, the home team trying to pull it out. Next offered in there for a strike. No balls, two strikes. And the right-hander deals. Come back into the mound. And they're down to their last out. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. Now here's the Tampa Bay cleanup hitter, Jonathan Aranda. Trying to deliver as the hero. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. That one finds the zone. And that's strike one. With the tying run at third as the Rays try and punch back down a run. Ball and one. ball one. 1-0. And another ball. ball. Up the middle. Gonzalez. Throw to first. Oh. Ball game. And the Red Sox hold on to win a tight one as this one ends as a one-run ball game. Nice work out of the bullpen for that first MLB win, boo. They turned to him when they didn't have the lead. He kept things steady, and he's rewarded with the W.